Okay, guys, so we're talking again about Eugene Schwartz, um, amazing copywriter, amazing advertiser. And um, we spoke about the way he didn't really write copy. He claims that he mostly assembled copy from the claims that were made in the books that he was selling. He was mostly in the, in the business of selling books. And you can do this, for example, even if you're advertising a physical product. Let's say that you're advertising, I don't know, a stereo system. Yeah, you can, you would have to, not, not you can, you would have to read all the literature about that product and possibly even try to get um, the company to send you that, um, that equipment so that you can test it. And very often what you have to write in the ad is just very evident stuff that it's, you know, maybe, maybe it's too obvious, but it works. Yeah. If, for example, your sound system helps you work better or it lifts the mood in your home, um, if it allows you to lose weight because you dance to the music that you play, any of those things, yeah, that you that you experience or that other people experience with this type of uh, equipment equipment would be something that you can use and assemble in your copy and assemble in your ad, right? Um, now, the main thing that I want to talk to you about is Eugene Schwartz's claim that he was the hardest working copywriter and I don't think that he worked very long days in copy I think he did maybe four sessions uh, of of uh, maybe uh, I think it was four sessions of 33 minutes what he did something like that so he worked about three hours a day total and uh, he had I think we have it today it's called a pomodoro it's basically just a work alarm. So it's a little gadget that counts, I don't know how much time you wanna work, 30 minutes, and then it counts also your break time, yeah? So what he did was he would put his uh, timer for 33 minutes, then he would work for 33 minutes really concentrated. And then after that, he would take a break and the break was had nothing to do with uh, what he was doing in his ad. Yeah, clear your brain. And then he would come back and do only 33 minutes. Yeah, and I wish I remembered this every time I have, um, I have to sit down and write an ad because I tend to work much longer than that. But I think his method is better. It keeps you fresher, it keeps you more alert um, because you take breaks. So uh, here we have a wonderful ad, a wonderful ad, a lot of nice things to talk about. First of all, super easy to read headline because it's so, um, it's big enough. It's in a font that is easy to read, uh, something like a Times New Roman, it seems to be. And it has... Uh, it is broken into two different sizes. Yeah, the whole headline starts at the very top at a smaller size. And then the big promise is in big size. Yeah. Do you have the courage to earn half a million dollars a year? Yeah. And um, this was written at a time when women were not in business as much. And so you can see the picture on the right of the guy succeeding with the women. And then the sub headline says, this is a private advertisement. It is meant for the tremendously amb ambitious man only. So it also brings a certain degree of exclusivity. And it also kind of dares a person. It dares the man to have the courage to earn this amount of money. It, it, it dares the man to be tremendously ambitious. Yeah? So uh, 
Ladies, please don't be offended. This was a different time. We can still learn from these ads, uh, even though they are written uh, for men only. But we're, we are at a different time, and we understand uh, that uh, times have changed and that women should be included. Yeah, But we can still learn from these wonderful old ads. Yeah, So um, obviously, I don't have time here to read the entire ad and analyze it but uh, the ad is uh, another jewel and it has uh, here at the bottom right it has a testimonial from a person in business an important person in business so very very well written ad um, mail no risk coupon today yeah the um, the mail um, sorry, the order form um, also has the promise inside. Gentlemen, yes, I want to read how to increase your money-making power. Yeah, so how to increase your money-making power is another promise. It's the same promise, basically, but written out differently. And a lot of people say that the order form should have should sell the book in of itself or should sell the product in of itself. And you might say, oh, but this is an old ad. We don't have order forms. Well, we do have order forms on websites, right? And then you, uh, you click on buy now and then you have an order form. And it's amazing how our new order forms online don't have any promises. And I think that we are probably losing um, losing conversions, losing sales when we do this. But, um, you know, we usually don't even have an option to write anything in the order form. Like I have, I have a website, I sell items online, and um, I, I have sold products on Amazon as well. I used, to, I used to sell thermoses on Amazon. And you are never asked you know, whether you can, uh, you know, add some some advertising copy in the order form. That's, that's just out of your mm, jurisdiction. It's only their, their uh, order form, not yours. So um, I think we can learn from that. If you have your own website, you can try to spice up your order form. And here, wonderful, easy to read headline, very well done everything guys I have a book that you should read because it's free top 10 uh, rules for successful advertising and the link is in the description and it's completely free all the best thank you please subscribe